There is a population. We take a sample. This is now chapter eight. The proportion in a sample of 36 people who liked Biden was 60%. What is the chance that more than 50% of all Americans like him. So in this question, first of all, let's think about what we know. Do we know what proportion of the people in the United States they like Biden? No, we only know the proportion in a sample. Of Very good. We people. don't know that. Do we know how many people are in the sample? Yes, 36. 36. Do we know what proportion of the people in the sample like, like Biden? Yes, yeah, 60%. We don't know the proportion of the population. We know the proportion of the sample. And we want to predict the proportion of the population. In your opinion, what is the proportion in the population that like Biden? Our best estimate, it is 60%. But uh, the question is, is, is asking that, what is the chance that more than 50% in the population like it? So this, in this question, what do we know? What do we know? Uh, about the distribution we know is going to be normal. So we know, what we know is about sample proportion, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we know sample proportion. What do we know about sample proportion? We know that sample proportion follows a normal distribution. We know that the mean of all of the sample proportions is the proportion in the population. We know that the standard deviation of all of the sample proportions is square root of P multiplied by one minus P divided by N, right? We know everything about the variations of sample proportion. Yes. And, uh, uh, but do we know what is the proportion in the population? Our best estimate would be 60, but- Very good, we don't know, but our best estimate is 0.6. Do we know what is the standard deviation of the proportions? No, but our best estimate is 0.6 multiplied by 0.4 divided by 36, which is equal to? Point zero eight one six. Yeah, that's it. Zero point zero eight? One six. Like this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and now we are interested in more than 50. 50%, 0.5 is the point of interest. We annotated everything. The area of interest. And uh, now we go to the table. You know, I go faster because I know you don't want to be bored and you're a master of normal distribution. One, two, three, four steps. Z is equal to 0.1 divided by 0 0.0816. Help me. 1.2254. Okay, in the table we have 1.22 and 1.23. Which one is closer? The middle. Right. No, it's 54. It's oh. more than five. So okay. we use 1.23. This area is? Uh, 
z equal to 1.23. Zero point zero three nine zero seven. Three nine zero seven, like this. Yep. And this area is 0.5. So the chance that the proportion in the population is more than 0.5 is 0 0.8907. So if your sample shows that Biden in your sample has 60% support the chance he will be the winner of the election notice that the winner of the election is the person who gets more than 50 percent if your sample shows 60 percent of people like biden then the chance that he will win elections would be 89 percent the only thing that we knew was the statistic of the sample and using the statistic of the sample, we predicted the parameter of the population. Life is easy. <laughs>